If you are wondering why Jesus Christ can communicate using telepathy and through the movement of his mouth as human beings on earth speak it's because Jesus Christ is the only being in the entire creation who is able to live both in the physical world earth, and in the spiritual world heaven. This is due to him having a resurrected body that had no seen as well as him being the son of God therefore making it easy for God the Father to create living things using his words through Jesus Christ. When God said let there be light this is a light only used to create things on earth it is not the light coming from the glory of the Father. This is the same light that we use in our thoughts through ideas it is creative light. Now the Bible says this was the first day of creation. The second thing that came out of the mouth of God was the words firmament. Let there be a firmament. I saw the first firmament which was more like a semicircle or cup, hold the water together and then I saw another firmament being created or rather forming on top of the firmament in the bottom. These two firmaments joined together to create a ball to secure the water and the land that was being protected or rather covered by the Spirit of God. Now let me describe the firmament, it was made from glass looking like material and it had a lot of layers upon layers. The firmament is so strong that the glory that emits from the Father's throne passes through it but partially. Why is this you might ask so that spirits coming to and from heaven or earth can pass through easily? The moment the firmament was set up the Spirit of the Lord stopped holding the water and the land as the firmament was now holding it together. Even though the firmament was holding the water the land did not yet appear it was still under the water. The Bible calls this the second day of creation. And then God spoke again for the dry land to come out of the water and appear this was one huge piece of land that covered at least 70% of the water there was no ocean but sea and rivers on this land and on the center of this land was an opening more like a bottomless pit and this is where the dark presence that I felt in the beginning of my vision was or rather was kept. God spoke again but this time it was more like a whisper, and nothing was created physically but only spiritually. I saw plants all kinds of plants and trees being created in the spirit but not on earth it was more like God had to feed these plants his spirit energy before physically creating them on earth. Most people when they read the Bible think that plants, we are created on the third day but no these were spiritual plants. And this was the third day of creation. Again, another reason why plants did not physically get created on the third day is the cause there was no sun to feed them light as the sun was created on the fourth day. On the fourth day God spoke words again and I saw gases in the atmosphere gathering up in one place and then separating into two these two gases formed balls. The first ball of gas was compressed so much but it was turned into the sun and the second ball of gas was compressed less but it turned into the moon. These two balls of gas were the same size but only different in brightness. The brighter ball of gas was called the sun and the less bright was called the moon. The sun was commanded to rule over the day on the moon to rule over the night. God spoke again and I saw stars being created and being placed in the layers upon layers of the firmament. Some stars big and small made from gas we are put in the first layer of the firmament and others in the second the third and the fourth and so on until the entire heavenly firmament was covered in stars. These stars made out of compressed gases as well. This is what God calls the fourth day of creation. Thanks for watching. Watch part 2.